Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Pregaton. Gonna check in with our companions. I'm listening. Yes. Hmm? Yes. I await your instructions. Alright, nothing new with them. I'm listening. Well... Nothing new there either. Let's go and At grab Hogan Hearts Raka again. Now we're gonna sell the stuff we picked up last episode to Armina. Yes. Hmm. Off I go. Yes. It'll go a little faster because a commenter was nice enough to correct me on the key you need to hold to select multiple items in the shop. I kept trying to hold shift. It turns out the correct key is control. Really speeds things along. It's a pretty chunk of change. You need right, to move over to Greybark Square and check in with Fim and Jade. And if they have nothing At for once. us, then we will go ahead and go straight to the Garden of Delights and follow up on that treaty with the Rillo. I probably should have kept the Sea Hag in my party instead of Soraka. Since Soraka can't follow us into the Matriarch's tent. And because there's a loading screen to enter that tent, when we come back out, she's gone. I mean, I understand her trepidation and standing there unaccompanied, surrounded by a bunch of people that are hostile towards her. But still. At once. Means I have to track her back down, which uh there it is. I await your instructions. Why'd they walk off over there? Yes, Sahib. Naturally. Yes, Sahib. Naturally. Of course, she does have new dialogue. Uh, yes, Donald? Now that the Lord of the Horde has been dispatched, why don't you tell me about yourself? Ugh, you want to know more? Most people are satisfied with what you've discovered already, Donald. But alright. Alexandria seems like a good place to start, as he's emblematic of my romantic relationships. There was no moon the night we met, at a black shrine to a forgotten god, just a fickle flicker of lantern light. We were deep in the woods, and I pretended I'd lost my way so he could escort me back to the goat path that would eventually lead to a road. He wasn't already dead at that point, was he? Haha, uh -huh, no. Of course not. Naturally, I've tried that. Hmm, <laughs> permutation. But it's not as fun as it sounds. It sounds like a promising introduction. He wasn't any different from the others. It always starts out like any regular courtship. Sweet words, comparing our gravestone rubbings, cutting poisonous herbs together. What went wrong? Soon enough, something always comes unstuck. With Elix, it was jealousy. He was really enthusiastic about our profession. But his magical abilities weren't at my level. I tried to help him improve his castings, 
but that just drove him into a sulk. I'm starting to think the root of the problem is that I'm simply unlovable. I think I've started a romance with Biala, though nothing's come of it since we dropped that one line. But this one is a little funnier, so let's go with option one anyway. Uh, well, in my eyes, you're beautiful. There's no point dwelling on Elix. As far as I'm concerned, the opinions of the twice dead carry no weight whatsoever. Wow, you really know your way around a lady's soft spots, Donald. I've been called tolerable before, and useful. Even amenable that one time, but never beautiful. Since, as you said, Alexandrius is gone for good. I'm in the market for my next mate. I'm open to new opportunities. I mean, wide open. Uh, where are you from? It's so bright originally, but I don't like the city at all. Imagine calling a place bright. She's really leaning into that whole goth aesthetic. Uh, what about your family? My parents are bureaucrats in the machine that runs the city. We're not on speaking terms. One of my earliest projects as a wizardess was to resurrect my great uncle Nerold. It didn't precisely work. Now, what are you hoping to find, traveling with me? Well, you see this piece of jewelry glued to my forehead? So it's in her model, but not her portrait. It's a diadem, and it's cursed. I can't take it off. The darn thing drains my energy, leaving me weak. And it seems to be getting worse. I fear it will kill me eventually. I have to find a way to remove it. Uh, perhaps I can uncurse the artifact and free you. I've tried conventional solutions already. But yes, please try. I felt a tingle. Nope, it's still stuck there. Don't be discouraged, Donald. I'm not. Or at least no more than I was before. A Soraka. You're knowledgeable about such things. Could you break the curse? Unfortunately, no. Whoever or whatever wove this dark magic is beyond my powers to undo. But the High Temple of Honorius will have the solution. I'm sure of it. It's located in Isselbrad, of course. And hopefully we can make a stop there in the near future. They give us a new quest. So the Eye of Calamity, plus 20% to Arousal, Depressive, and Illusion to Manipulation Resistance, minus 20% to Strain and Pain Resist, plus 1 to Intelligence, minus 2 to Physique, Transcript Opening White, 1 per day. This diadem came into Jade's possession while traveling in the Northern Realms. While exploring an ancient mausoleum worked with strange and ornate designs, he discovered a secret chamber past grave robbers had missed. Within, its peculiar jewel waited upon a single basalt pe pedestal. The artifact teems with dark energies of unknown providence, the dark foreboding gemstone at its center hinting at vast power. But its nature so far remains a secret. What? Yes. Alright, so we'll take care of this quest real quick. Just give this stuff to Bialo real fast. That is Raka. Oh, there was an actual role for that. For the diadem as well. So we had high enough abolished curses, we could have removed it, I assume. I'm listening. At once. Interesting that both the mages that you get in your party have a, a diadem that they're somehow attached to. I wonder if they're connected. 
what is hers yes. called? The third eye. Then the other one's called the Eye of Calamity. They both found in the Northern Realm as well. I await at once. Man, there's gotta be something to it, right? A little too on the nose for there not to be. Off I go. In fact, I think the Eye of Calamity is I'm mentioned in her book, ready. isn't it? Hmm? You need only ask. I'm listening. Maybe not. But the name rings a bell. At once. Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm listening. I await your Great. instructions. I'm listening. Greetings. All right, uh, welcome back, Traveler. A friend of mine is suffering the effects of a rather tenacious curse. Oh my. The Priestess Genevieve specializes in curses and the negation. Wait here, I shall fetch her. She's like two steps away. <laughs> I've handled that myself, I think. Here's the lady in question, Mistress Genevieve. Hmm, yes. Cursed are you? Uh, please. Hope you could do something for Jade. We don't know where else to turn. This is Diadem, Priestess Genevieve. It's slowly draining my life force. Like being at a fancy dinner party, but all the time. Of course. Step into the light. Oh my. There's a bitter malice about this artifact. How'd you come by such a tool of evil? If we need to get into the details, we perhaps go somewhere private. No, never mind that. We should have to speak with the high priest. He's a busy man. I'm sure he'll make time for such a horrid thing. Off I go. Greetings. Priestess Genevieve informs me you have a diadem I shall find of interest. Ah uh, yes, my name is Jade. I am the one cursed. I see why she is concerned. A powerful and wicked working binds this artifact to you. You tell anything about the nature of the wizard who cursed it. The artifact radiates with death magic. Jade must have either a very strong constitution, or some natural resistance to its power, else it would have killed her already. As to its origins, it seems it must have been crafted by a creature as learned, learned as myself, but in realms of darkness and evil, rather than light. There's something you can do, I hope. I can break the curse. I may be the only one in Isselbright who can, but the cost will be high. 5,000 gold pieces. The High Priests, I may interject. These people are my allies, you may consider them friends of the church. Perhaps you could waive the fee in consideration of our good works. A highly unusual request, but yes, for the devout of Honorius, I will grant it. Come, Jade, this will take some time. Oh, thank you, High Priest. I'm so relieved this will finally be over. And thank you, Donald. I never could have made it so far without you. I mean, we literally just walked across town, but okay. <laughs> well, I did save her from Emmanuel's Horde. Maybe that's what she meant. If anything, I made it harder for her to get over here since I took her shoes away. Oh ye gods, look. It's over, I'm free. I feel like I could float away without that curse on my brow. I have to start planning how to repay you. All of you. 
Highness is its own reward sister. I thank you for helping her, High Priest. Anarius help you steer clear of such unholiness of the future. Goodbye. Naturally. Alright, so the same resistances, except for now we have plus 20% to strain in pain instead of minus 20%. Uh, still plus 1 to intelligence. The minus 2 to physique changed to plus 1, and we have a plus 1 to focus. Hmm? There? Oh, that was a simple quest. I wonder if you can only wave the fee if Soraka is in your party. I feel like since I'm a Templar, I should have gotten the same opportunity. Also wonder if there's an alternative way of solving that quest. Say you don't have the money or Sorak in your party. At once. Well, you can abolish the curse yourself. We saw the roll for it. Let's go and talk to her Naturally. real quick. Naturally. Yeah, uh, how did the cursed diadem come into your possession in the first place? I was quite young at the time, and traveling in the northern realms. I came across an abandoned Feldico graveyard, far from any settlement. My eye was drawn to an ornately de decorated mausoleum. The entrance was smashed in, so I took a peek inside. I was interested in the carvings rather than grave robbing. As I said, it had been looted long ago. But on accident, I discovered a secret chamber beneath the main tomb. There was one more desiccated corpse down there, perhaps hidden because of some shame he had brought upon the family. I found the diadem on the brow of this ancient body. If you could have dreamed the thing would be cursed. <laughs> Indeed. I feel like my string of bad romances started right around the time I found the diadem. It's not long after that, I, I decided to put all my effort into necromancy. Curious. What's next? Now what are you hoping for next, now that the curse has been lifted? Really just that we would continue traveling together, if that's what you want as well. <laughs> uh, yes, I do enjoy your company. Great, then let's go. On my way. I off I go. I say as I'm about to replace her with Helgen Har. <laughs> yeah, your company's great. Uh, why don't you wait right here? At once. And we'll be back eventually. Oh wait, no, not Helgen Har. Um. Oh, he's at the stumbling steps. That makes sense. I'll off I go. At once. It is more of his uh, atmosphere. At once. I await your instructions. Whoops. What is your wish? There we go. I'm listening. Hmm? Hmm? 
Mm -hmm. All right, to the Garden of Delights. Speak to the Matriarch about this treaty. At once. I'm sure we won't run into any problems doing so. At once. Oh, these are the guys from the Valley of Singing Trees. Yes. Oh, my friend returns. Do not worry about Jabbar. Thanks to you, we have everything we need. Since Misani is well enough, to be on our way again. Hello. I doubt that this has been updated. Same dialogues before. once yes I await your instructions all right hang tight Soraka <laughs> you're back with news I hope Uh, His Majesty King Velianric has agreed to your terms, as you're going to form an alliance. Excellent. Unexpectedly excellent, even. I shall dispatch our swiftest messenger to Isilbright. Now, as promised, I've summoned our most accomplished disease specialist, Isla. Isla, this is Donald. Well met, traveler. Alumu mentioned my expertise is needed in the cells. She's familiar. Well met Isla, but of course, we already know each other. Yes, I remember. How do you manage to stay as beautiful as the day we met? It pays to take care of one's appearance. And you know something about curing a plague. I do. My background in medicine, both magical and mundane, is extensive. Now what exactly do you need help with? The people of Darren Gold are suffering under a very strange and highly contagious disease. Wonderful. I mean to say that challenges always excite me. Let's leave at once. So Isla is a temporary party member who only stays in your party until her goals are achieved. Her set of spells is fixed. Cannot be removed from the party until she decides to leave. Hmm, what was that? I await your instructions. Can I still go recruit Soraka? Ah, uh, yes. Alright, she's a multi-class. All three classes. With an absurd stat line.
I'll be taking that back. Thank I'm you. Listening. <laughs> Listen, Dung's having a wag about the incident at court in Isselbright. Or rather, in the actual courtroom of the Crown. Is it true you were present and witnessed the thing pretending to be Duke Kjarvalar? Yes, I was there. Why do you ask? I understand that before it detonated, Master spoke of some kind of pact with a capital P. He didn't offer a lot of details. He called everyone fools, said nothing could prevent the final pact, and that King Valian Rick's reign was over. Oh yeah, that chaos had rule in his place. That's about it. Hmm. Thank you. Yes, this changes things. Before we head to Derengold, we need to make a slight detour in the opposite direction, to Freynagar in the Northern Realms. I've also heard the gates of Derengold have been strangely close to outsiders for the past few days. But why? There's something I need to see. I promise this isn't just whimsy. It's important. People are dying from the plague in Derengold right now. All the more reason to make haste, wouldn't you say? I mean, she's already addressed this, but sure. Uh, but that's in the opposite direction. Yes, I believe I just mentioned that. Oh, very well. Freynagar we go. I knew you would be reasonable. Onward. I await your instruct at once. But we also need to go check in. At Isselbright, I want to see if we can bring Sirak along with her, since she's a temporary companion. Because it is possible to enter the Matriarch's tent with a full party. I just happen not to there. At once. We should also stop and speak to her as well. The first time I see if we can bring Soraka back into the party, and then we'll chit chat with Isla. At once. At once. Yes. Well, darn. Hmm? What was that? Alright. Let's see if she has any new spells that we haven't seen before. Ah, uh, yes. Can't open up her spell book. My right, poison weapon is new. The spell enchants a caster's attacks with magical poison, making opponents think twice before approaching them. It is to apply poison on hit for 15 seconds, 75%. A wasp assault. The spell conjures a swarm of angry wasps to attack the caster's target and any enemies in their vicinity. I think we've seen this before. It deals 4, 4 to 14 stabbing damage to the target, scales up to level 9. Well, jump is new. Well, the spell teleports the caster to a desired point in range to get away from danger or gain tactical advantage over their opponents.
I await you. Off I go. What do you wish? I can't speak to her either. I'm listening there. Okay. Well, that's a little disappointing. Soraka has some of my best buffs. At once. In fact, it'd probably be better to swap out Biala for Isla instead of Soraka. Uh, let me go ahead and take care of this real quick. I await right. your instructions. I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one we will go to. Uh, Taurus Cliff, and then Freyna Gar. I'll have to swing by the hidden cabin. I wonder... We I mean, probably do it from the Broken Monastery, but I think the game wants us to go to the hidden cabin. Hmm? What was that? I wonder if Isla's gonna meet with the crone. I'm listening. Guess we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna call it here for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.